Hello folks and welcome back to another Wise Game video. In today's video we're going to be covering Battle of Azeroth 8.3. We're actually going to be looking at and diving deep into in today's video is if you lost track of how to continue with the quest line for the Legendary Cloak. So what I mean about this is that if you are a level 120 character player and you took off some time from the game or if you're a fresh 120 character, these steps should help you get back on track. It's a little more difficult for somebody who's already been 120 and they took off time from the game to come back and pick up exactly where you last left off and how to continue with this huge quest line. Now for a fresh 120 player, you should get most of these quests to automatically populate or check in your quest log. As with the character that I'm playing right here, which is my Paladin, he was my first level 120, but then I ended up favoring my Warrior more. So I haven't played him since like 8.1. So I was really behind on these quest chains that they came out with the Legendary Cloak. And I was pretty much stuck. I did some research and I got back on track. So I'm also going to cover the steps that worked for me also. And what also makes making a video like this pretty difficult is that there's no just one starting point. It depends on where you last left off compared to other players. So you might be on, say, Phase 3 for the quest line. Somebody else may be on Phase 4, Phase 1. We get the idea. So to simplify things, I'll just go by the list. But I will not be covering each quest in detail. That would just make a four hour long video and I don't think anybody wants to sit here and listen to me for four hours. So we're gonna do it in sections by major quest chains and break it down that way. Once you get on track, you should be all set. Now this will be based more on the Alliance side, but I will be going into some details to do with Horde players also. So one of the first things you want to do too is check your quest log, see if there's a brand new quest in there that might be related to this, and also check your maps. So your main city hubs uh, is what you want to check to see if there's any important quest icons that may be appearing now on your maps. Now there is a few key details that you can look at to kind of give yourself an idea where you stand in the game and how far you are advanced. Now on both factions, it pretty much works the same right here. So you want to make your way to the portal room that they added in the major hub for Battle for Azeroth. So for Alliance, it'd be Bortles. So when you do go look at a guide to see exactly where you are in the game, these new implements will give you an indication of how far you are, plus also as we see here, the adventure guide. If you check the adventure guide, sometimes it will show new populated main quests. So now here we are in the portal room, and what I'm looking for is to see if I have a portal for Celetus, which I do. So that's a main indication right there of where you are in the game. Now, if you see that you don't have a portal yet going to Celetus, we're going to go over that in just a few minutes. So here we are at Celetus, and they do have a portal once you activate all this where you can portal back also to your main hub. Now, what we're looking at right here is called the Chamber of Heart. The Chamber of Heart is something that they added to the game in Battle of Azeroth, which holds a lot of major interest in this game. So we could see right here on my Paladin, I can't access the Chamber of Heart yet, where these other players around me can. So that's telling me right there, okay, I gotta do something before this point of the game. The Chamber of Heart is a very important place to be. This is where you can work on your essences. And also, once you do have the cloak, this is where you come to access the horrific visions. So that's why the Chamber of Heart is so important for 8.3 right now for Battle for Azeroth. Okay. 
Located right here is the main NPC that's going to be giving you a lot of the quest when it comes to getting your legendary cloak. And his name is Magni Bronzebeard for the Alliance. Another sign also to give you an idea of how far you are in the game depends on his locations. So the point that I was stuck on was before all this, so the guides out there didn't really give me any help. Which is the part I'll be discussing first. So if you're at the same point I am in the game, you came in, you check to see if you have your portal going to Celetus, and then to see if you have entryway or not right now to the Chamber of Heart. So on my Paladin, I had this quest called The Shores of Faith, as we see here in this list. So this is where I had to continue. So I had to continue with this quest line for Darkshaw, which was somehow tied to Magni Bronzebeard, but the main NPC for this quest line is Maleev Shadow Song. Once I completed all the phases of this quest line, I was pretty much now on track. All the other quest lines started falling in place. Now for the Horde plays, I could not find a complete list. This is about the best list I was able to find, but I will have in the description panel of today's video the information guides for the Horde. If you need to complete the quest line for Darkshaw. Next we're going to be looking at a major quest line that Blizzard themselves even posted on the website claiming that this is the quest most 120s should be getting automatically. And they also say that this works for both fresh 120s and returning 120s. So again, I know I keep saying this, but this is the main reason behind this is that for returning 120s, it's going to depend on where you last left off in the game and how these quests are going to automatically populate. Now, for a fresh 120, you should automatically get this quest. I did ask a friend of mine this morning, she just gotten this quest not too long ago, and she said it did automatically populate for her on her fresh 120 character. So now for Alliance players, you should automatically get this quest to automatically populate called the Wolves Offense. And then for the Horde, the War Chief's Order. What this quest line is going to do is eventually take you to the area called Najata. Najata, along with Megacon, was the new newest areas added in Battle for Azeroth. Najata is located underneath the ocean. So it's an under the sea area and zone. The Najata quest line isn't really that long and will not take you that long to complete. It's mainly a lot of small cutscenes and a good introductory when it comes to the new area called Najata. Once you start getting these quests, now you really know that you're on track. You keep just staying with these quest lines, and you should be able to get the legendary cloak quest lines in no time at all. So basically for Alliance plays, what you want to do is you want to keep continuing these quests in Najata until you eventually meet up with Magni Bronzebeard. This should be your first meetup with Magni Bronzebeard on a fresh 120 character. After doing all this and meeting up with Magni Bronzebeard, should now eventually open up where you could access now the Chamber of Heart. Which will also give you a quest where you're going to receive your first essence in the game. And you're going to be able to now use the essence table within the Chamber of Heart. Now once you've completed all these steps and you now have access to the Chamber of Heart and your first essence, you are now getting ready to do the largest quest line out of all of them for Nazoth the Legendary Cloak. Which now is going to kick in Magni Bronzebeard full force. You're going to be seeing him most of the time now as your main NPC for the Alliance. And also another NPC called the Black Prince, Rathion. Rathion is for both the Alliance and the Horde players. 
And that's basically, guys, all the quest lines right there. The ones that I covered, there was only three. So there's actually only three quest lines if you have to do Darkshaw also. If not, then there's actually only two. With the longest one definitely being for the cloak. That one is a very long quest line. Actually, Blizzard said that that's the longest quest line that they ever made in any World of Warcraft expansion. Which will eventually take you to Black Rock Mountain along with Prince Rathion by your side. But before we end today's video, I just want to go over one other important thing. In the event that you don't have these quests or you don't have the portals going to sell it to us, then you may be on a quest line way before all this. So I did find this post on a website. I just want to post it here. And this should give you a reference point of where you can see if you have any of these quests in your quest log. And then you could go to Wowhead or one of those sites and then look up more information about them. So yes, this was not a full detail guide as to tell you exactly which guy to go to for each quest, where to turn it in, yada yada, all that good stuff. This is just mainly a reference point video. So that you, hopefully you could find a quest that you have in your quest log that I shared in today's video that should help get you on track. Again, you have to use your resources to actually find out exactly what you need to do. But once you are on track, the quest lines are pretty easy to knock out. I soloed every part of them and they were a lot of fun. So again, please visit my links in the description panel of today's video for all the guides I'll have posted. And I hope that this video helped you guys considerably. And as always, thanks for stopping by and watching Wise Gamer. Feel free to comment below and sub up for more future videos. Until then, you guys have yourself a great day. We'll catch you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.